friends. I hope y'all's days are going mighty swell. We are going to continue the um, the growing up series. We're going to do the exam to get past middle school and get into high school. And yeah, oh, she looks very unhappy. Why are you so unhappy? Okay, so yeah, we need to get past that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do our brain map, our first brain map for the day. Okay, that's good enough. We're over work, so we can go ahead and go home. Oh, I didn't even know we had a new teacher. Okay. Uh, parents should arrange slots with your teachers in advance. And the bell rings. Freedom at last. The cl class interrupts into sound. One pupil is entirely silent, though, staring out of the window. Mr. Pryor, Nathan, Nathan Pryor. Yes. I'm still waiting on a note from your parents. They're not coming. Parents' day is mandatory, Nathan. As the class file out, Nathan angrily stuffs books into his bag. Whatever, you tell them then. By the time you looked up again from your own bag, Nathan is gone. But one of the books have, has fallen out of his bags as his notebook. Um, we'll take it so we can give it to him later. You pop the notebook in your bag. Hopefully you can give it back to him. I mean, yeah, I hope you give it back to him. <laughs> You catch up to Nathan just as he enters the park. As you get closer, you see that he's throwing stones to the fountain. Hey, Nathan. Why are you everywhere? What do you want? Are you okay? Why do you care? Because we're friends. Friends? No idea why you want to be friends with me. Um... Let's... Let's feed the ducks. Want to feed the ducks? <laughs> Nathan actually brightens a little bit at this. Clearly, it was a good suggestion. No bread, though. It's not good for them. Oh, really? What do you... Nathan pulls a bag out of his pocket that contains what looks like peas. I always bring peas to the park. For a while, you throw out peas, watching the ducks gobble them up. Nathan looks more cheerful than you've ever seen him. I didn't know that ducks like their vegetables. Yeah, these ducks eat way healthier than me. My mom can't cook, and my dad won't. I mean, sounds about right. <laughs> You're about to ask about his parents when suddenly I'm out of peas. Oh yeah, me too. The ducks scatter away, content, as you both weigh them off. Maybe you should have eaten those peas, get a decent meal. Ha, yeah, maybe. It feels good to both laugh like this. Nathan seems to be in a better mood. Oh, your notebook. Do you, do you have it? You reach into your bag and his face lights up as he sees what's in there. I think it fell off your desk after school, so... Nathan grabs the book, relief all over his face. You're a lifesaver, Freaky. I thought I'd left it at school. You watch Nathan flick through pages as if to check everything was still there. I didn't check it if you were wondering. I'm just relieved to have it back, thanks. You watch his expression as he skims his own pages. He sounds happy, but... He doesn't look as happy as when you were feeding the ducks. I'm happy I could give it back to you. What are friends for? Nathan's smile returns after that. Maybe I'll finally get to find that out. You can hear your parents sighing from across the room. Kids these days. All you want to do is watch TV and play video games. What happened to spending time outside? We just came from outside, Dad. We were feeding the ducks peas. <laughs> Playing with people in nature. I'm... We just went out, lady! Can't that be an option? Let's just say... Games and TV are fun. There's nothing fun about going outside and roaming around aimlessly. TV is exciting, and in games you can be anyone you want. Back in my day, we didn't need any of this. We could just pretend we were anyone we wanted, like Super Dude and Mouse Woman. <laughs> you roll your eyes. You're basically addicted to this. I bet you couldn't last one day ele about uh, without electronics. I mean, I don't spend that much time with them. I still do other things. Oh yeah, well then, you should have no trouble finding out something else to do for a few weeks. Did we just get grounded for no reason? Don't use electronics for three turns. Um, so we can't do that. I mean, technically, Dad, the lawnmower is a electronic. <laughs> okay. So, we are overworked. Improve your mental skills. Okay. So, let's 
So let's go ahead and go out and, well, we need money. So let's do the lawnmower. So we can afford food. Oh, we really need to get more action points. Okay, so let's get some food. Uh, we'll get the mac and cheese. Satisfies for a little bit anyways. So what do we need to do? We need to do laws of motion. One, two, three, four. And then we can start on fractions and decimals. That's fine. In turn. Oh my god, it takes four away? Shit, we're getting very low. Oh no. We have two. Lunch is a chance to relax, but today the canteen is especially lively. You make your way to what has become your regular seat at Nathan's table. Nathan smiles as you take your seat. Hi. Yo, what's the buzz in here today? Oh, yeah. Can you smell the blood in the water? <laughs> I thought we only fed them peas. Despite the tension in this room, Nathan laughs at this. I'm not talking about vampire ducks. Joke, joke. What do you mean, though? Nathan shrugs, but it's a heavy movement. Just stating the facts, the sharks are circling. A photocopy of a torn page is slipped onto the table in front of you. What's this about? We're about to find out. He points sadly to a table somewhere behind you. You turn in your chair to see. Suddenly, one student is standing on a table, waving the room quiet. Around you, you realize photocopied sheets have been put on the table. The student holds up one of these sheets and clears their throat. Somewhere across the cafeteria, a girl starts to cry, as their diary entry is read aloud for the whole school to hear. Oh my god. Never had that happen in my years of schooling. The reading is painful. The girl whose diary is being read screams for them to stop. Please stop. But they don't stop. Before, the, before long, the room is filled with cruel laughter and murmurs. Paper airplanes are made from her photocopied words and flung around the room. By the time it ends, the girl has fled the hall, followed by her embarrassed friends. You're not sure how on earth someone or anyone can recover from that shame. It could have been me. What do you mean? If you hadn't. Nathan's hands are balled into fists on the table. Thank you for bringing my book back to me, Freaky. As you realize what he means, you feel massively relieved at your choice. Things have gone very differently. Uh, don't bring your diary to school. <laughs> that is a wonderful way to avoid that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our brain map. We might take a little vacation when we're home because we have two happiness. And that is bad. That is very bad. You're walking through the par park holding homework for Alex. The teacher had asked someone to take it to her as she'd been off school. And it seemed a good opportunity. You wonder if she's okay and you miss seeing her at school. As you approach the given address though, you get confused. This is the funsy carnival. You head in. You shrug and head in. You seem to remember Alex speaking oddly about her parents' jobs. As you, as you pass rides and game stalls, you can't not think it fits Alex well. You pass a woman who is sweeping up some confetti near a toy stall. You're early, hun. We're not really open yet. Oh, I'm not here for... I'm looking for Alex. The woman stops sweeping and smiles at you. Oh, you're a friend of Alex? I'm her mom. Oh, no. <laughs> You see Alex running towards you both. She looks shocked to see you here. So you're a friend from school? Yeah, we're good friends, actually. Pretty much the best. Well, that is just wonderful. We are so proud of our girl doing well at school. Jeez, Mom. Actually, I'm here to... You hold out an envelope with, they, with the school stamp on it. But Alex grabs it from you quickly. Oh, cool. This is the research from last week. Um, no, this is today's work that you missed. Alex thumps her forehead and her mother sighs. You are not a good friend. You should have, like, not told her mom about that, but whatever. <laughs> you told me school was canceled today. It's impossible to miss Alex's pleading look. 
Oh. No, school wasn't on today, but Alex and I were going to study together. Right, I knew you needed help around here, Mom, so... Alex's mom holds a hand to her chest. Oh, sweetheart, I do appreciate the help, but... Schooling should always come first. Sure, Mom. But I'm still not sure why I need to go. I don't need school to work here. You may, you may yet decide you want to do something else, Alex. This is just one possibility. Education is key that opens the locks. That opens locks. Geez, Mom. Drama much? I get it, I get it. Mom's, or Alex's mom offers you tea. Alex gives you a glance as if to say thank you. Awesome. Well, we have to take the day off. Ugh, we can't even do this, really. So, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and take the day off. Because we can't... We can do this. Is there anything that will give us... Let's see, schedule. Hmm... The Rubik's Cube gives us five. Okay, we'll just schedule our day with that. Ugh, improve your mental health. <sighs> yeah, let's go ahead and go to the beach. That's 2.50. Damn. If we were to save up a little bit. It's really hard to maintain your mental health in this game. Let's go ahead and do this. Yeah. That was fun. Okay. You and Alex decide to eat your lunch at the sports field. So, be honest. What did you really think when you saw I, where I live? Uh, I mean, it's cool. Honestly, I thought it was so cool. Alex pus pushes you with her shoulder. You nearly dropped your sandwich. Sure, super cool, I'll bet. I mean it. Honestly, I'm kind of jealous. Alex stares at you surprised. You are? Yeah, I mean, don't you think any of us would love to live in a carnival? She takes a bite of her sandwich and stares out at the track. Hmm. I never considered it. I've always been a little bit embarrassed by it. Why? I don't know. It's not normal. Who wants to be normal? Normal is very, very boring. Alex smiles and lets it break into a laugh. You are so right. Who wants to be normal? She stands up, putting her hands on her hips. For I am ALX, master of space sheeps, and I live in a carnival. You both laugh, or you both fall about laughing. That was a weird sentence. And then Alex grins at you. I'm so glad we're friends. Me too. Thanks for being the best rival. She finish up, finishes up her sandwich and nods towards the track. So, want a quick race? I thought, I thought your leg was broken. <laughs> okay. So, still can't really do anything, but... <sighs> I guess we'll do this. Tap the surprise neuron to get a random reward. You'll never know what you get. Mm, okay. <laughs> Ooh, super brain points. What are our expectations? We did, we did that good. Okay. Anyways, we'll just do that. Okay. So go home, more story. Uh, you spy Nathan sitting on a bench, writing in a new looking book. As he sees you, he closes the small book quickly and clutches it tightly. Oh, hi. You got a new notebook? Uh, yeah. Don't think I'll be bringing this one into school. That's probably wise. You here with your parents? No, no, I just came out on my own. Being here is better than being at home. Just gets a bit boring is all. You want to do something? I was going to get food. I don't know. I mean, I don't really have money on me. I just spent it all. I can cover you. Don't worry about it. <sighs> Nathan looks wary at you. Uh, really? Yeah, really. Well, okay then. I'd murder a cinema hot dog. You both sit down to eat your hot dogs. You spend a lot of time at the mall? Yeah, like I said, it's better than being at home. He probably wouldn't appreciate that we talk about his parents. <sighs> okay, yeah, let's change the subject. You finish your hot dog and stare at the posters on the wall. Hey, you want to see a movie? Like I said, money. 
I really appreciate the food, though. Thanks. You're welcome. You you brush crumbs from your clothes as you see Nathan making or er, as you see Nathan make to stand. <laughs> as he retrieves his notebook, you can't resist asking. So, what are you writing today? The information in this book is worth more than a hot dog, I'm afraid. Darn, it was worth a try. Nathan smiles as he pockets the book. Gotty. We need to do some activities. Ugh, our mental health is so bad. We have 17 monies. Okay. So... Oh, we can't do this. Well, this is a board game. We can do the Rubik's Cube, get some food, and maybe work a little bit. Oh, look at this. Minus two from the kitchen assistant, but you get 15. Okay, so let's do this once. Nice. And we can get some mac and cheese and work a little bit more. Oh, we can't work anymore. It, it costs 30? Okay, so we really need to improve our action point total. So we we choose another skill. Okay, choose the next skill. Invertebrates or the human body. Let's go for animal biology because it'd be nice to be like a little veterinarian in this. Or a nurse. Uh, we'll go for invertebrates. It's okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and schedule. Um, so three, four, five... And then for the rest of the day, we're just going to do the the cube puzzle. Because that'll up our thing a lot. Oh, we only get 10 from this? The lawnmower? Why, why would you want to work the lawnmower for only 10? Okay, so intern. You got this. There we go. Awesome. It's okay, I can't solve a Rubik's Cube either. I know there's a trick to it, but I don't know what. I do not know what. <laughs> You're at your locker when you can't help overhearing a familiar voice. Hasn't come out for hate ages, haha. You look to where a small group are gossiping. Oh my god. They really need to, like, fix the the speech bubbles in this. <laughs> Led by an, the unusual suspect. Who hasn't come out of where? Oh, your friend Nathan, the para, kicked off big time. Some kids got a hold of a stupid notebook and showed it to a teacher. It was all monsters this and monsters that run, hide, obsessed much. Teacher threatened to call his parents in and para hit the roof. Sent to the principal and everything. He's been in the bathroom for ages. The group moves away, giggling all the while. Worrying about your friend, you head to the toilets by the cafeteria. As you get close, Nathan leaves the boy's toilet. He looks awful. Maybe he's been crying. Nathan, he rubs his no nose roughly on his sleeve and looks you with his dark eyes. Yeah, what's up? I heard some kids saying that you were going to be sent to the principal. Are you okay? I'm fine. Are you sure? Because I just said I'm fine. Just leave me alone. With that, Nathan makes you or Nathan makes to run past you. Uh, we're gonna stop him. You grab Nathan's arm without thinking. He bolts back in shock. Nathan, please, I know you're not okay. Why are you hanging around me? You could be friends with anyone else. I'm friends with you. At this, he suddenly seems to calm. Anger changing into something else. A small crowd has gathered. Come on, let's get out of here. Nathan looks around at the staring students. Yeah, yeah, okay. Man, kids are so mean. I'm so glad I'm not in high school or middle school or any of the school anymore. I, in college, no one talks to each other. You're there, you listen to the teacher, you go. Like, it's just strictly business. <laughs> um... Okay, don't use electronics for three turns fulfilled. Awesome. 
They're probably gonna give me another expectation when I get home. <laughs> so, brain map. And that's it for that. <laughs> that was very fast. You agreed to meet Alex at the arcade. But she's not at the entrance when you arrive. Maybe she headed in already. You look around the arcade. Where would Alex be? Uh, the spaceship. You're not surprised at all to see her at spaceship machine. But as you draw closer, she looks frustrated. Hey, Alex. Oh, hey. What's going on? She moves aside, revealing the leaderboard on spaceship. The full top 10 spots are held by BTY now. Alex doesn't even show unless you wait for the second page. Wow, BTI is serious about this, huh? Alex throws her hands up in the air. It gets worse. I don't even know who it is. No way. Who? Uh, st stupid Shane from Stupid Fantasy. Known him for years. He's older and gets to work uh, the shooting stall. Guess what he said BTY stands for? Uh... Big talking yak. <laughs> it's gotta be big talking yak. Alex sputters out a laugh. What? No. But thanks for the laugh. It stands for better than you. Ooh. And by you, he means me. Let's beat this guy. Well, it seems Shane wants to be your rival too. More like he just wants to watch me lose. You grab her shoulder and look her in the eyes like a coach. Listen to me, ALX. You're not a quitter. You're the best hecking space sheep in the galaxy, and BTY knows it. He's challenging you. Are you going to leave him hanging? You see a spark of determination in Alex's face. She seems to grow an inch taller in front of your eyes. You're so right. He's a worthy rival, and I'll grind him into space dust. That's my purple sheep. As Alex takes up her position at the machine, you prepare to cheer her on. Each game takes her closer, and the quarters are nearly running out. But with your support, she does eventually knock BTY from number one. Whoa, yes, I did it. I'd started to think that it wasn't worth trying, but you're the best sheep, be, best space sheep co-pilot. Eh, blah, blah. Ugh. You're the best space sheep co-pilot ever. <laughs> the pair of you high five and whoop around the place. Take that, BTY. Yeah, I challenge you. Sharing her, sharing in her win is the greatest feeling. Oh, here we go. One of your parents is reading the newspaper. You know, heart disease is the main way people die in this country now. It takes you a moment to realize they're staring right at you when you say that. You actually bother exercising? <laughs> um, say you try. I try and stay active and stuff, but you know, 10,000 steps or whatever, it's hard. Well, as long as you try, it's best to start good habits young. They return to their paper. Uh, so we have to do what? Probably raise our physique, yeah. Probably 200. Yep, 200. So what are we going to do today? We're at 27 for our mental health. Let's go to the cafe and work a little bit there. Awesome. And one lo more time. And we'll buy two mac and cheeses. Yeah. Oh. What? Oh, you can't buy it twice. Okay. Then we will do the apple pie. So our exam is coming up soon. So one, two, three, four, five. And we'll do the Rubik's Cube. That sounds fine. Schedule and intern. You got it. Oh my. I mean, it seems like you won. Oh my god. It should be the other way around. If it hits your head, I mean... that That's not a win. Okay. Oh, look at you, smarty. Probability. Oh, I am very bad at probability. I'm bad at all math, but like probability? Mm. I just guesstimate. Let's go ahead and go to our brain map. We needed to work on our physique. We get 11 whenever we do anything physique-y. Oh, surprise triggers the spinning wheel. 
Let's let's do it. It's okay. Ooh, what's it gonna be? Oh, okay. I didn't want that right now though. Shit, we had so many points to collect. Ah, <sighs> that was shitty. And go home. You notice Nathan walking through the park. You see he's headed towards this pond. Hey, Nathan, wait up. You're well, you're fast when you want to be. You don't have to follow me, you know. Oh, the ducks. I actually... You pulled a small bag of slightly soggy peas out of your pocket. Oops, I kind of forgot to put them here. Nathan stops and looks at you, a smile tugging his features. You, ca you started carrying peas around? Well, you know, a wise man once told me that ducks like them. Wow, you really pay attention, huh? The pair of you start to throw peas into the pond. You'd think the ducks had never eaten. Wow, they really like those peas. Who wouldn't like being looked after a while? Uh, let's ask about the stolen notebook. I'm sorry they stole your writing, Nathan. Uh, what did they show the teacher? I know what it means to you. Do you, though, really? Oh, shit, he's kind of mad now. Well, maybe not entirely, but I know how much it matters. They had no right to show a teacher, or take it at all. Yeah, he reaches for a stone and skims it angrily. Doesn't matter anyways. It doesn't, why? I might not be staying around here. Huh? What do you mean? May need to choose a school closer to where my... It's not like I have many reasons to go to high school here. Um, maybe start a... Maybe a new start would be better. No, you stay here. Well, for what it's worth, I hope you do stay around. Nathan's eyes widen in what looks like gratitude. You know, having you as a friend has been the best thing about middle school. Thanks. Hey, you're welcome. I know we can carry on being best friends in high school. Nathan looks deep in thought. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Sorry about my dog. <laughs> Okay, so we have- oh, we're low on action points. We didn't even do anything. Okay, so let's plan out our day. What is this? Oh! Luca Cox, semi-famous indie director, is showing off his new film, No Air on Venus. The movie theater is having a special guest show up after his film in a Q&A. The movie was actually quite good, if a bit pretentious. Afterwards, he comes out and talks about the industry, his career, and advice. If you want to be good, you gotta make a, gam a, a damn good film. And I've made some god- er, some goddamn good films. <laughs> of course, my first film, who you'll never see that. Some people at the Q&A laugh. However, let's get some questions from the audience. Suddenly, he points at you. Yes, you there. Um... Let's talk about his worst, worst experience. Uh, what was your worst experience on set? All of them. Only half joking. Unlike some people, I find it all hard. Organizing, dealing with people, talking to you all here. It feels like I'm bleeding. I've always been melodramatic though. I can't stop either. The thing to keep in mind is that experiences are always good and bad. You have to ask yourself if you love it. So advice for all the young little beeps. <laughs> Start small, understand you're going to suck, and don't let anyone tell you you're wrong. A few more questions come after that, but the Q&A finishes soon enough. Okay. Film history. That's a new one. I don't really want to do that, though. What's important? What's important? Let's learn about bacteria. So we can finish that off tomorrow. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, did I hit schedule or... Oh god, I hope I did it right. Okay, with middle school coming to an end, uh, you have to come to meet Alex. A friend reward for your decent hard work and test results. You still find it fun here, right? Even though you're here a lot. Dude, it's unfair. I mean, sure, it's also work and home, but... She runs ahead, arms outstretched. I love it here. What do you want to try? You look around at the options. Everything looks fun. What will you try? Uh, let's do the Ferris wheel. I'm pretty sure I skipped the day and that makes me very sad. 
Oh, oh no, I hit the wrong button. It should say like, are you sure you want to continue the day and you hit like yes or no. But it did not. Halfway through the ride, you feel like you've sat on top of the world. This is my favorite part. She's looking over the park, the town. Everything feels different up here. It's all smaller for a start. All options are open. You want to try something else? You puff out air. I could actually kill a hot dog. I think they're already dead, but okay. Let's take a pause and go get your energy up. You know, I really do love it here. I even like stupid Shane. He's a good rival when it comes down to it. Do you think you'll work here when you grow up? She pauses, chewing thoughtfully. You know, I haven't worked that out yet. We have loads of time to decide, but I like knowing I have options. If I do work here, it'll be my choice too. I think that's brilliant. Almost as brilliant as knowing I get to go to high school with you. So much more chance for some rival challenges. I'm actually excited. Yeah, me too. You watch the crowds around you for a bit before heading back into them. You can't wait until high school starts. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God, I thought it was gonna skip. I almost had a heart attack. Okay. You got this. Nice. And all done. Next. <laughs> I love the artwork for this game. It's really cute. The end of middle school draws near. The school is buzzing with what's next. For some students, it's a clear path, but for others, not so sure. Sitting on a bench near the exit is exactly who you're thinking about. Yo, hey Nathan. So, slowly Nathan smiles. You'd better be right about how good that high school is. You mean we're going to the same school? Looks like. It'll be good to see a friendly face in a new school. Whose face would that be? Yours, idiot. Aw, oh, they're gonna do datings. Nathan actually smiles at this. Oh, right, yeah, mine. Nathan grabs his bag and walks away. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see you in the new chapter. Nice. I mean, we still have two more days, so. Ooh, fish dishes. Ooh. Oh, she's not happy again. <laughs> We're overworked. Shockwave Neuron. To instantly collect rewards from random amount of neuron. Hmm, okay. I kind of want to do the surprise one more time. Increases physique by 15, or 25. Let's do that. And we'll do the surprise wheel. You got this. Aw. What is this? Just, just extra things? That was uneventful. Ah, uh, damn. Okay. Oh, thank God. Okay, we're gonna invest in knowledge. So, our stuff's a little bit cheaper. And lastly, we'll do just another physique. That's fine. Go home. Let's go ahead and go to the cafe and do a little bit more work. Awesome. And we need to buy, let's buy this and, oh, we can't buy that shit. Eh, it's okay. It's okay. So we have two more turns till we take our exam. <sighs> let's do the rest of the bacteria and we have Three more. We can do the lawnmower. Maybe. Because that raises our physique if we finish it. So four, six, seven. Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. That looks fine. Nope. Awesome. Awesome. Got it. Raise the physique. Awesome. We are so close to getting another thing on our schedule. 95% readiness. I met our neighbors when I was out shopping today and we chatted for a bit. 
They've been really busy lately and they could use some help with their chores. And then I thought maybe you could give them a hand. Hmm, thanks, Dad. <laughs> For free? Are they paying anything? Your parent sighs. Where did this selfish selfishness of yours come from? I don't have all the time in the world to do free things. <laughs> Of course they'll pay for your time. I wish you'd be more willing to help out the goodness of your heart. Um, why don't you help then? Perform dog walker ten times. <sighs> okay. I will. So let's go ahead and go to the park. Um, how much do we get? We get ten dollars. Okay. So one... Two, three, and four. Awesome. And in turn. You got it. Oh, yeah. She picked up on the signs the first time. <laughs> Lady, please, I just talk good about you. Awesome. And last one. There we go. We need to disappoint our parents a little bit. We are at 100% and only have oh, four mental health. Brain map. This is our last one till high school. Okay, that is it. Let's go home. The exam is tonight. Okay, so we got... We got an A. That's not what I wanted, but it's okay. Got it. There we go. High school is the final stage of, in growing up. Once you reach 18 of age, uh, in the final turn, you will face an SAT exam. Your exam results, along with the skills you've earned so far, will determine your future occupation. Oh, we don't get to pick? Oh. Okay. From now on, you'll be able to start romantic relationships with your friends. It will affect who your future spouse will be. In high school, balancing your mental health and your parents' expectations will be difficult. Make good use of your money and pride. Look for useful items in shops or treat yourself to a mental health boosting meal in a diner or restaurant. Uh, request productivity boosts from your parents or ask them to take you a trip to help your mental health. Thank you. Okay, so guys, we are going to leave it here. We are in high school now. We're wearing some cute clothing, but thank you for tuning in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And thank you. Please leave a like and comment. <laughs> Bye.